What's up, everybody? Jason up, New Age Revolution. Down here in the cave live, Wednesday night live. Just watched Wednesday night dynamite, AEW. And let me tell you people, I have not cared more about wrestling than I do about AEW in decades. Decades. I have not cared this much about professional wrestling than I do now as a result of AE dub. So, what are we doing tonight? Real quick on here. It's mail call. That's right. Fan of the channel, friend o mine. And kind of a local guy who I'm going to end up seeing at the Niagara Falls Comic Con. My man, Eric Grubbs, reached out to me, throwing plenty of love towards the channel. And then he said, would it be okay if I sent you something? I'm not going to tell you what it is because I enjoy your heartfelt emotional reactions live, but would it be okay if I sent you something? And I said, of course, of course, thank you. And I said, I'm gonna dedicate a whole show to Mr. Eric Grubbs as we open this up. So I am very, very excited because we have a G.I. Joe care package sent to me from your friend and mine, Eric Grubbs, a fan of the channel. And we are going to open it here, live on the New 80s Revolution. Now, here's what I was a little embarrassed about or worried about. I'm not looking. Uh, I'm not like, fully educated on every single G.I. Joe character that there ever was, right? So sometimes I get stuff and I'm like, who is this? Or what is this? Or what year is this from? So if I do that tonight, it's only because I'm not a G.I. Joe master like I am an LJN master. And, and by the way, Christian Hafer, this hat's for you, my friend. Why do I come down here in the warmth of my home and wear a stupid beanie cap? Well, it's because I didn't feel like doing my hair, you know? I didn't feel like doing it up. I didn't feel like slap it in the pomade. So, so I'll just throw on a hat for you guys. Anyway, uh, I don't know what's in here. I told Eric Grubbs that I would open it live for you people. So here's what we got so far. That's what, what did he send me? He sent me a bunch of bubble wrap. Thank you, Eric Grubbs. So we're going in. One bubble wrap layer gone. Two bubble wrap layers gone. Nothing in the bubble wrap. I can't see anything, guys. Do you see anything? I can't see anything. Okay, we got something here. What's that? I can't see. What is it? What is it? Oh! Oh! It's Roadblock! <laughs> and let me tell you what the best... I'm not looking yet. Let me tell you what the best part of this is. I no longer have Roadblock. I do now, but I no longer have Roadblock because the seven-year-old, New Age Revolution Jr., is becoming probably more obsessed with G.I. Joe than I am. And Roadblock did come as a gift from my friend Rob. Rob. <laughs> Ron. 
uh, did come as a gift from my friend, Ron. And for some reason, Roadblock has become my kid's favorite character in the G.I. Joe cartoon. So when he saw that I had a Roadblock, he jumped on it and was like, that's mine. I'm taking it upstairs to my room. And I was like, okay, you know, take him. It's a $25, $30 figure. I'll get him again. Take good old Roadblock. Well, one good deed, my good karma paid off. And my friend Eric has hooked me up with a roadblock. Now, let's let's check the year on roadblock, okay? Remember, and this is live, so you guys can just hang out and watch me look stuff up. I'm going to say that this roadblock, I think this roadblock is like 1986. This is the 1986 roadblock. And guess what? He's complete. He's complete with his heavy... Uh, machine gun and his tripod. We have a complete roadblock in this pretty little case here from my friend Eric. I am excited because I have just gotten my own roadblock now that my kids stole from me. The thief. My thieving child. What's next? What's next? Oh, I feel more, I feel more figures. This is incredible. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. It is an upgrade, a beautiful upgrade for me. This is the, let me go to 83. Ah, oh, this is such a sweet upgrade. This is the Cobra Soldier. The Cobra Soldier with beautiful red Cobra insignia. My figure is all rubbed off. It's gone. There's no beautiful red. And he is beautifully complete with his weapon. The Cobra Soldier. But do you know what the greatest part of this is? The part that I am so excited about? I never thought I was going to be an army builder, right? Getting multiple soldier figures and officers for Cobra. But it looks like now I am. And what a fantastic upgrade, courtesy of Eric Grubbs. Thank you so much. The beers are on me in the Niagara... Uh, Nickel City Con in Buffalo, New York. Oh, there's more. There is more. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, yes. 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 Let's see who this is. I know who this is. I just want to give you the year on it. I want to come correct. Oh, man. I am so pumped up right now. Let's see. Uh, this is 85, I know. So I'm looking for the figure. I cannot wait until I am extremely educated on these figures. And when they're from, and where they're from, and what series they're from, and who made them, and all that awesome stuff. See, this is pathetic that I am not a G.I. Joe master yet. It really is. Okay. And I should have known this. Ridiculous of me. This is a 1986 Xandar figure. Xandar and Zarena and Zartan. The brothers and sisters, the family. This is incredible. And you know what? He's ridiculously complete as well. A figure from the 1986 line, Xandar. Wow, you are sending me complete figures. Do you realize that? You're sending me $70 worth of, no, more. I think the Cobra Enemy, the uh, soldier, is like a $40 figure. You're sending me close to $100 worth of figures right here. Eric Grubbs. 
the man who drinks and eats for free on me. There's more in here. We got, we got more figures, guys. We got more figures. My eyes are closed. My eyes are closed. I haven't looked yet. Got a note, my favorite part, a note. Oh, we have members of the Dreadnoughts. Complete, complete Dreadnought figures, ladies and gentlemen, from Eric Grubbs, my new pal. Let's pull the... Let's pull the, the details on these. Come on. Where the heck are we? This is Ripper and Buzzer from the Dreadnoughts. And they are complete. They are gorgeously complete. Oh, wow. Ripper and Buzzer from the Dreadnoughts. Zartan's crew. Wow. 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 I have five glorious figures from Eric Grubbs for free just because he likes the channel. Let's get into this. Read the letter, man. Let's read the letter. There's no anthrax. There's no corona. Oh, read second and read first. I love it. Okay. Hey, here we go. Ready? Eric Grubb said, I love to even see you read the letters. So let's read the letters. By the way, if you're just joining in, guys, we have a Cobra Soldier, an upgrade for me with a beautiful, crystal clear red Cobra insignia. We have Xandar. We have Roadblock. And we have two of the greatest Dreadnoughts of all time, Ripper and Buzzer of the Dreadnought crew. Love the Dreadnoughts. If you're watching the early cartoons, um, the Dreadnoughts show up pretty early. So, so in the cartoon series, on the DVDs anyway, um, there are three five-part miniseries before we get to the actual weekly shows that we all loved as kids. And the five-part miniseries, um, you know, basically start the whole G.I. Joe series off. So in those early miniseries episodes, you start seeing a lot of the 1982 slash 1983 figures, the 1983 vehicles. It is so fun to watch the cartoon and see... Um, you know, the Cobra Hiss and um, the Sky Striker and the Paragliders and, you know, just these incredible vehicles that are literally recreated that same year in Plastic Wonder. And it's just so cool that, like, the cartoon was so true to the toy line. And as more characters come in, to the cartoon, Quick Kick is coming in, uh, the Dreadnoughts are coming in, um, Shipwreck is coming in, and 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 um, man, who else is is like I'm trying to think? Who else is Lady J is there from the start? Duke is there from the start, you know. Um, but you got all these guys coming in, 
little by little, they're introducing these new characters. And then like, you know, they're out in stores like a month later. It's just so great. I, I, what a time to have been a kid watching the cartoon, watching the vehicles, watching the accessories, watching the characters, and then going in and literally going and buying them shortly thereafter and, and just totally just being cartoon toy congruent. This is from Eric Grubbs. Jason, thank you for everything you do on your channel. Thank you. I've gotten so much enjoyment watching your videos and listening to what you have to say. Thank you. I'm a huge wrestling fan, and that's what got me to like your channel. I'm a little younger than you, so my glory days of wrestling is from 88 to 02. Okay, I can appreciate that. I still watch some now, but things were never the same in wrestling when ECW and WCW got bought out. Agreed. I still love WWE, but once they were the only ones left, it kind of sucked. But man was the whole Monday Night Wars and Attitude Era amazing to watch in my high school days. Me too. Bret Hart will always be my favorite of all time. And the Nature Boy Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, and the Four Horsemen, mine too. My dad was a huge wrestling fan, and that's what got me started in early age. Unfortunately, mine wasn't. Um, never was. Nobody in my family was a wrestling fan. This was discovered by me all by myself in my bedroom at eight years old, watching cable that I should have never had in my room. I do remember trading tapes and stuff in the 90s. I was always a huge fan of 80s wrestling, so I wanted to get my hands on anything old school wrestling. I can still remember the first time I saw Starcade 86, the night of the Skywalkers. That scaffold match was crazy. Yes, that scaffold match was crazy. Anyway, wanted to just tell you how much I enjoy your channel and collection. Sorry to rant on too much. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. Thank you. Tell me more about yourself. So from one collector to another, I put together this care package to add to your G.I. Joe collection. Hope you enjoy it and hope to maybe keep, catch up with you at the Nickel City Con in May. Thanks again, Eric Grubbs. Um, you will catch up with me at the Nickel City Con in May and you will have, uh, you will be full and drunk by the time I'm done with you because you sent me over $100 worth of figures. Over $100 worth of figures. Read this second. You don't have to read this out loud. It's just about the G.I. Joes I sent you. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he told me it's Cobra Soldier. Thank you, because I probably should have read this ahead of time, but then that would have given it away. Cobra Soldier from 1983 is complete. The legs are a little loose, but not too bad. I figured it was a nice upgrade from the one you got, because the red Cobra symbol is in nice shape. Did I or did I not just say that? Thank you very much, Eric Grubbs. You read my mind. Yes, it is a nice upgrade. It's a fantastic upgrade. In fact, I'm not going to do an army build. That Cobra is going to New 80s Revolution Jr. Roadblock, 86. Second version is complete. The legs are loose. That's okay. Xandar, 86 is complete. Buzzer and Ripper, Dreadnought, 85 are both complete. I did not have stands for them, but I did have these nice plastic cases to keep them safe. Enjoy, my friend. Thank you, Eric Grubbs. This is an amazing surprise. I'm so excited. You have replaced a roadblock that I had to give to my kid because he's a big freaking baby and he's so excited about G.I. Joe's. You gave me an awesome upgrade of a Cobra soldier and now the other one is going to the kid upstairs. You are rocking out my Dreadnought collection. We got Xandar. We got Xandar. Again, this channel was started about three years ago, close to three years ago, and all it was, was, all it was, was a zero talent, no editing talent, monotone dude down here talking about some wrestling figures. 
And then over the years, it has morphed into what it is today, a channel that is 300 subscribers away from 2,000, um, a channel that makes me $26 a month that I flip right into this channel. I go and I buy packaged G.I. Joe stuff and I open them for you. But more importantly, it has morphed into a social life for me, almost, you could say, where um, people reach out, they communicate with me, um, they send me stuff, they send my kid stuff, they send my kid get well cards, they send my kid Christmas cards. That is an unexpected uh, main reason for continuing on the channel. Not free stuff. I don't need free stuff. I'm not on here for free stuff. But the fact that people enjoy just sitting here listening to me talk, that people enjoy it so much that they go into their own collection, they box up some stuff, and they ship it to me just to see me open it and add it to the collection. That is a completely unexpected mega bonus of this channel. And I can never express how grateful I am that that actually happens. Um, so thank you, Eric Grubbs. And I don't know how we're going to meet up at Nickel City. I'll, I'm going to be there on the Saturday. Um, I am going to meet the Stinger and Michael Rooker and Sean Gunn from the Guardians series. And I'm uh, the way that the Nickel City Con is set up. There's, there's like, I don't know if you've been there, but there's, um, there's a major like uh, common area away from the convention floor and away from the celebrities. There's a major gathering area where there's a huge bar and the food stands, but it's usually when the con is going, it's pretty quiet there because everybody's inside. So I'm going to be hanging out there a lot. Okay. Um, so make sure you check that area a lot because I'm going to be sitting there waiting for you and we're going to crush three or four hot dogs and we're going to smash down two or three beers all on me and we're going to have a great time and we're going to shake hands and I, and I want to, I want to take that selfie with you, right? So I can add it to my, my collection of fan pictures and, uh, you know, hopefully build that collection, but thank you, Eric, beyond words. Thank you. The, the letters that I get from you guys, they go in a, in a little shoe box. Oh yeah. They go in a little shoe box and I save them and, 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 and I just cherish them. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My kid thanks you because he's getting an upgrade. Well, he's getting his first Cobra soldier figure. I'm getting an upgrade. Thank you immensely. Now, uh, I'm going to spin the camera around real quick before I go. And I'm just going to show you what the, what the wall looks like now. Now, all that's up there right now are the 1983 figures. So except for the, uh, the soldier here, these other figures, they just go and they sit and they wait because I'm 10 away from the 1983 line being complete figure wise. And then the next shelf down will be 84. So I can't put up 84, 85, 86. I can't, I can't place them yet because I'm not done with the 83 shelf. So what I'm about to show you is just the 83 section and how I've got them displayed. And let me, let me show you, let me show you what I got here. I'm going to spin this thing around. Okay. Let's go. Let's go over here. So here we are. If we take it back a little bit, you can kind of see the, you can kind of see the setup. I'm doing the, the posters and the file cards and the, the other fun stuff that came with the, the figures. That's kind of the backdrop and these shelves are gonna go down. But as you can see, let's see, we've only got, let me see, yeah. We've only got the 1983 figures up there. 
and that's how they're looking. Now take a look at that. Look, take a look at this wood shelf. See what I got there? I'm writing their names on the shelf because that's what I would have done when I was 10, right? So I don't need to get all fancy. I just need to grab a pen and write down the name. Oh, Ace is, Ace is a little forward. Back up there, Ace. There we go. All right? And Scarlett, Scarlett's in the hospital right now. She's going through surgery. Actually, you know what? You know what? This is not an upgrade. No, this is a new figure. This is the soldier. This is the soldier. Eric just sent me the officer. I'm pretty sure. I gotta go look back, because that guy has a white, a white insignia, and you gave me one with a red insignia. So I might just have a totally different figure. I might just have the officer versus the soldier. Let's take a look-see. I don't know. Here's the one you, where are we? Here's the one you sent me. Red insignia. And this one up here is white, white insignia. So what I'm thinking is I have the soldier and now I have the officer or vice versa. And the weapon's different too. So I have an officer and a soldier, which means I need nine more figures from 1983. Thank you very much, Eric Grubbs. And I'm sorry to my kid who's not getting a hand-me-down. But anyway, that's how I'm displaying these. That's how these are being displayed. Check out the primitive writing on the shelf. Yeah, that's right, because that's what I would have done as a kid. I would have hung a shelf and I would have written their name on the shelf. So I don't need to do it any better than what I would have done as a kid. What's better than that? That is it, guys. Sorry about no chat. Uh, I don't have the laptop down here. I can't respond to chat as it comes through on the, on the phone. So it's a quick way for me to upload a video without having to upload it. Um, live videos go up instantly. So, you know, that's how we do it. This is the, uh, this is where all the, the, the vehicles are being housed right now, right? This is the other half of the collection that's just a total mess. Okay. Um, did you get all that? Did I, did I show it off? Yeah. That's where the, that's where the vehicles are hanging out. There's going to be totally different shelving down here for the vehicles. They are really just in a holding pattern right now. They're just kind of sitting there um, while I concentrate on the figures first. But we're going to do the vehicles too. I'm just I'm just paying attention to the figures right now. Um, I don't know. What else do I want to do with you? I got a camera here. I don't know. What else am I going to do? You can walk around a little bit. I can show you the, the room. Oh, check this out. This is going to be on my next Wrestling With The Past episode. Look at this beautiful, let's see. Yeah, WWF foam cardboardy sign that I got. Check that out. A guy made that for me. I paid him and he made it for me. And I'm gonna try to hang it from the ceiling and make it part of the uh, Wrestling With The Past which I'm working on the next next episode of that. There's a lot that goes into that. Not a lot, like, for a, for a no-talent editor like me, um, there's a lot that goes into it. But, you know, for somebody who does it regularly for a living, it's, or is more of a hobby, it's not a lot. But um, it takes me a while to make a wrestling with the past episode. But we're going to do it again. We're going to do episode two. It's going to be another, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, Last, last episode, I said that the next one was a, a house show, but it's not. It's um, it's January 8th of WWF Championship Wrestling from 1983. 
what else? Is that it? I think that's it. I think I'm done. I think I'm done talking. Five G.I. Joe figures from Eric Grubbs just because he likes the channel. Thank you so much. See you at Nickel City Con. See you all another time. Collecting is half the battle. Good night now.